Now, as teachers prepare to head back to the classroom, Arkansas legislators are preparing for a special session. Now, during that session, educators are hoping for a pay raise, and many spent the day at the Capitol to make sure that that plea was heard. What began as a celebration of Educator Sunday continued as a rally. In the halls of your state capitol building as well as in your paycheck. We have a crisis situation on our hands. Crowds of Arkansas teachers, including Gwen Falkenberry, came together on the Capitol steps to ask the state for pay raises. He'd like to put that on the special session agenda. That special session starts Tuesday, and Governor Hutchinson had previously signaled teacher raises as a possible use for that $1.6 billion surplus, but it's no longer certain. So we've got a lot of momentum for the teacher pay side, but I think they will look, consider that uh, next year. Uh, and so uh, this session should go smoothly with a consensus on the items that we have. Even still, activists like Jenny Diaz, the executive director for AR People, are still working to make sure this topic is at the top of legislators' minds this week. We have heard from nearly 16,000 Arkansans who've signed a petition saying that educators need a pay raise now and into the future. But even if these lawmakers um, turn a deaf ear to us and do not add this to the special session, um, it's just the beginning. As the decision of how to use the state's billion and a half surplus is now just days away, many teachers will be watching this session closely. Hopefully the, the legislature will see that this matters so much to our people and um, they still have time, they can put it on the agenda. With our Little Rock Station reporting, and in Northwest Arkansas, teachers are agreeing with that message. Now, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., the Northwest Arkansas Young Democrats hosted the NWA Pay Arkansas Teachers protest in Rogers at Veterans Park. And as you can see, about two dozen people showed up. That's including candidates, current and former teachers, and all of them asking for teacher raises to be placed on this week's special session. Despite Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson saying that this special session is all about tax relief and school safety, but still attendees are sending one last plea to get it on the agenda, saying that teacher pay raises will help shape the future of Arkansas's workforce. Should be in the special session. Yes, it absolutely should be. What kind of workforce does Arkansas want? Okay. I would imagine we want the best workforce that we can possibly have. Uh, we have surplus money where we can really make a difference so that we increase our teacher pay. Now, Diane Worthen, who you just heard from, says that she was a teacher for 30 years and is now a professor at the U of A teaching future educators. She says she wants to make it clear that teachers teach to serve the community but deserve a livable wage. Meanwhile, with millions of kids getting ready to go back to school across the country, America's teacher shortage has hit, has hit a crisis level and school officials everywhere are scrambling. Now, at least Preston has more from New York. Monday is the first day of school in Quinlan, Texas, where the district resorted to some creative incentives to recruit teachers. We get to wear jeans and t-shirts every day, which as a science teacher, I love. That new dress code plus a four day week and the announcement of a $1,000 bonus just for showing up. Kansas could have its worst teacher shortage ever, still missing 1,400 and Florida has about 8,000 openings. In San Francisco, we want you now. We need you now. The school district is using emergency permits to waive the usual credentials. It's actually possible for somebody who doesn't have a teaching credential but has an interest in being an educator right now to come and, and, and try it out. Teachers blame low pay, pandemic stress and politics for driving them away. And the problem could get worse. A poll of the American Federation of Teachers found 40 percent of its members may leave the job in the next two years. Three quarters say they would not recommend their profession to others. You're calling this a crisis. Yes, it is a crisis. Randy Weingarten is AFT president. So we need to actually make the conditions better so that the teachers we have right now will stay. We really need them and that new people want to come into teaching. 
Experts point out some classrooms will feel the burden even more. Bilingual students and children with special needs have been facing a lack of resources for years. Staffing, especially now, is tougher for those programs. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.